Well, right now, this is the last stop before Obamacare fully kicks in on January 1st of next year uh, for us to refuse to fund it. Uh, Congress, of course, has to pass a law to continue funding government. Lately, we've been doing that through a funding mechanism called a continuing resolution. If Republicans in both houses simply refuse to vote for any continuing resolution that contains further funding for further enforcement of Obamacare, we can stop it. We can stop the individual mandate from going into effect. Well, let's look at this. Uh, right now, there are some popular things, as you know, with Obamacare. A lot of people are pleased that if you're a kid that can't get a job, if you have a kid that can't get a job until 26, he could stay on your plan. And we know about the pre-existing conditions. Do you risk some backlash if you end up just choking it? Uh, perhaps we could if that happened, but, but remember, the way we've worded this is we're talking about further enforcement and implementation of Obamacare. So we're not talking about those things. We're talking about those that haven't kicked in yet. We're talking about the individual mandate, uh, the exchanges, the exchange subsidies, and so forth. That's what Americans are afraid of. That's what's causing premiums to skyrocket, and that's what we've got to stop through this effort of don't fund it. Well, I mean, if you, you think if left alone, America will really grow uh, distasteful of Obamacare, but it is your belief it can't be able to be stopped. So if the, if the rate starts doubling, if the doctors start dropping out like they say they will, will that be enough to stop it? Will the implementation be enough of a turnoff to save you a lot of, uh, to a lot of, a lot of trouble? Well, yes. If, if we don't fund it and these things don't kick in, that's going to prevent a lot of those bad things from happening. Uh, the important part is that we not allow those things to kick in because that's what's causing a lot of people to lose their health coverage. The president promised us a few years ago that people could keep their doctors if they liked their doctors, that they could keep their current health plan if they liked it. Now we're being told that may be the case, but it might not. You see, we already knew that Obamacare uh, was going to be unaffordable. Now we know that it's going to be unfair as well because the president's rewriting it, not just once, but twice. Uh, by telling us that he's not going to enforce the employer mandate, but he's going to leave individuals on the hook, hardworking Americans who can't afford lobbyists to get to him at the White House. He's also told us that he's not going to enforce those provisions that require people to provide documentation of their income in order to support their claim to eligibility for subsidies on the exchanges. All right, and you say that you've talked to Republicans in 13, uh, 13 or 14 have already said, I'm with you on this? Yes, and the number is growing. We expect to get more people signing on this week. There's a parallel effort going on in the House. Right. Uh, this movement is going to continue to build because the American people understand the president's not following the law. The American people shouldn't be required to fund it.